Well, there's good news and there's not so good news. Hey. All right, my friends, welcome in. I, I was just trying to show you a screen that didn't give anything away. Um, Wim Bullen has done really, he, he's kind of been, uh, who was it from a couple of seats? Was it Flacco? Yo, like every time I checked on him, his, his, his stuff was going in the right direction. Maybe it was Tom Schradle too. Um, I've hopped this forward. It's essentially the last two games before the World Cup slash winter break. Um, the struggle is real. Uh, the, the good news is, my friends, our bank balance is going to be quite nice, I think, when we go back down to Serie Bay. The bad news is, I think it's going to be tough sledding to not... There are some glimmers of hope, okay? There are some glimmers of hope. We've had some some hard-done VAR penalty decisions against us at the end of games, stuff like that. So we're, we're I think we're close. We're close to getting a win but we've not gotten a win and it's october 23rd so let me just show you the competition yeah we're not in the top 15 as you might imagine we're dead last now we do have a game in hand against 18th and and a win could propel us to 17th the 17th also loses uh, because of goal differential I, I think the, the good news is we, quote, only have four losses. Only have four losses. Torino's gotten two wins, but they have seven losses. So all we need to do is turn some of these draws into wins, and we'd be doing okay. Like, it's not like, you know, 12th through 20th is not a big gap. It's five points. So one win could get us to 17th. Another win could get us to 14th or something like that. And it's really... It's really been close. So it's closer than 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 this would indicate. Um, so let's see. We lost here. Udinese. I mean, this one was kind of meh. Um, a 1-0, 60th minute. We were kind of hanging on away from home. We draw with Atalanta, which was actually quite pleasing because they were they were kind of doing really well in the game. Um, but to to get a draw against them, we, I was more than more than pleased. We had a 94th minute penalty, lots of yellow cards, a push in the box. I was, you know, it's been on set pieces is where we've had problems with pushing players down at the end of games. So we're, we're literally like a minute away from getting another point, which again, it's not a win. It wasn't like we created a ton of chances, but we, we, we would have done a bit better there. We take the lead. Adam Ida comes, or no, starts, um, gets a goal in the 67th minute against Napoli, who are uh, first. Yep, yep, yep. And they were first at the time. Um, and then a 95th minute set piece corner. Koulibaly smashes it home with his head. Absolutely gutting. Um, because it was like, oh, our first win, like against first place. Like, I, I was going to bring you back for this game. Uh, I was like, ah, oh, Napoli and Lazio. Like, those are two big, interesting teams. But then, like, they're in first, and we are dead last. And it's like, yeah, let's, let's not. <laughs> like, that doesn't seem... And then I was like, oh, my gosh, I should have recorded this because we're going to get three points off of them. And then we didn't. Um, so, I mean, a draw against first place, you'd go like, hey, you, you'd bite your hand off, right? It just, in the grand scheme, was like, ah. Oh. So, we've we've scheduled friendlies in between on these international breaks, um, to try and get morale up, like get our goal scorer scoring goals. We eight goals. Um, we had uh, a 31 minute hat trick from Tyrese here. Uh, Cassidy with the brace, Eob getting a brace, which is kind of unbelievable, and Adam Ida getting a goal. And Rossi had a miss penalty and still had a 9.2. So, yeah, it kind of tells you about the level we played against, but it was like good for morale. It's like really good morale boost. We take that and we get an 11th minute lead off of Ryan Cassidy. I didn't think we'd hang on, but like another just gutting penalty. None of the penalties have been those like, you know, they're running ahead of one of our players in the box and we just trip them. It's all been like ridiculous stuff. It, 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 and I know I'm biased, but you know, okay, now they equalize, then they take the lead. And then I was super thrilled. Rossi 
I, we might as well, we don't have a ton of goals to show, so we might as well show you the goals we do have, I guess, is how I feel. Um, 93rd minute, and it was kind of like, oh, oh, it's not just against us where last minute goals can be scored. Like, we could do them too. Rossi cuts inside, and then, I mean, it wasn't amazing. Like, I don't think it was an amazing shot. I don't know what the keeper was doing there, but it's like, oh, wow, like, we, we, we equalized at the last minute, so glimmer of hope um it's just been I, I feel like one of the games that we had a penalty go against us that ended up being a draw we probably should deserve three points on top of what we have total not a whole not four points because if we had draws right um but i, I think we we're, we're three we should be three points higher than we are which again isn't saying much but like it would be slightly more comfortable so i like the fact that we are like middle of the pack and losses, right? Like if you sort by losses, we're not the worst team. We're like middle, you know, like that's, that's good. Um, we also have some devastating injury news. DVV, a damaged spine for like five months. It's pretty much the end of his Syria ambitions. He got he got a substitute appearance and it was in training. He fell down and it damaged his spine. So he's probably done once he comes back because it's it's limited his potential ability. I don't think he's gonna make it. We'll probably have to see if we can offload him to somebody. Um, Rossi as well has had back to, back to back to back. No, just two pulled back muscles. Like literally came came back after two weeks off. I hadn't started him, and then he pulls it again for another 12 days. So this is definitely the end of Rossi. He's worth 1.2 million. We might sell him in the transfer window. I hate to do that. He's really he's really good, but it's like, is he really worth one point? If we could get 500 grand for him, I think we would be getting a bargain. And I hate to do that. Probably won't do that, but that's kind of where we're at. So I'm really glad we have. Um, Cassie, Ida, Brodich, and Tyrese, like because of DVV going out, that's been clutch for us. Again, not that we're banging in all of the goals. We've also, because we are getting like, we had a thing. Sometimes I think foot manager gives you hints, um, where it said we are, um, you know, gray hair gaming is not being flexible off his five, three, two. And I'm not going to change that because we don't have wingers. We don't, it's not like we can go to four, four, two. Um, and we have a plethora of center backs. We're going to see if we can make this five, three, two work. And even if we don't, we've got now six point four million in the bank because of TV revenue. It's crazy. Um, but what I've done is because Rossi, we want him to be our playmaker, but he's not exactly pacey and able to get forward as much. And I want us to be slightly more defensive, and he can tackle. We put him on a deep line playmaker. Haas continues to disappoint. Like I'm not sure what to. Do. He's on a six six eight last season. And he's on a six six four this season. What is your problem, dude? Your attributes are good. Um, he doesn't get along with the Cardi. Um, it's just, it, and also Brodich is not. I know I'm all over the place here. Brodich has got nine starts with a goal and a six seven one. Not really his fault, I guess. Um, so maybe we start him today. I don't know. I I mean I don't. I mean, but what we've done is we've gotten rid of the the higher tempo and the direct passing, and we've gotten rid of passing to space because I think that worked the last two seasons because our players were near the top of the league in pace and agility and average to above average and off the ball movement and like are able to anticipate and stuff like that. And now we're up against Serie A defenses and that's just not going to work. So I'm trying to keep our possession a little bit more to where we play out of defense, lower tempo, shorter passing, try and hold on the ball a little bit. Don't pass them to space. Pa find somebody wearing the same color kit as you and pass it to their feet rather than into space and run onto it so that Again, this is just my interpretation. Someone's going to leave me a lengthy comment about how I'm completely wrong about football manager. But I think it's like shorter passing. But if they can't find a short pass out of the defense, then they ping it up. And it's kind of like passing into space anyway. Or at least like we're conceding possession way down the pitch. We still do have counter on and distribute quickly into the flanks. Still trying to do that. Um, and standard line, nothing, nothing's changed from this standpoint. And what I also like is... We have put both wingers on or wingbacks on attack because they are like they're they're able to do, to do that. I think we put everybody on defend 
we're just like parking the bus and we're gonna get beaten down eventually we have created a bunch of chances that's what's been frustrating is we've created chances not just with cassidy we've had chances and we've lost games or drawn games so i feel like this is working and it could just be dumb luck it could yeah probably is um but we're gonna keep plugging away i'm not gonna change off of what we're doing other than the type of passing that we're doing like we want to keep the shape and see if we can make it work um so today my friends now that we're 10 minutes into the episode i'm going to show you genoa and inter milan 14th and 6th surprisingly 6th i think um and like five points off so they're they're going to probably smash us um and then we get a long break there's a transfer window kind of in here, but you've also got the World Cup. Um, Cassidy has gotten called up, but not played, and that's been frustrating um, for the Republic of Ireland. Like, he's still only got the one appearance, so he's cap-tied. They've cap-tied him, but, I mean, to be fair, it's not like he's lighting up Syria. Um, but we're at home. They're inconsistent, so at least there's that. At least they're not coming in, like, really hot, but they're still going to be significantly better than us. So... It is what it is. It is what it is. 4-3-3. Three, three. Fantastic. Do it for the fans. Um, I'm going to get aggressive. We did this last time, and it, I think it kind of helped. Uh, I'm trying to balance my team talks to be a little bit more like motivational rather than just I love you um, to try and see if we can up the performance levels a little bit. And we need to bring the sound back because I was playing a bunch of games. And again, I, I thought about bringing it back, but it's just like the World Cup is really in an odd spot. So there would have been more games between now and the winter break. We'll definitely show more episodes in the second half of the season. Because especially if we're not maintaining any kind of possession, are we? Um, oh, unmarked. Goodness. And just let him, you know, keep or don't come out for it. Um, if this is our only glimpse at Serie A for a little bit, we want to try and grasp onto as much of it as we can a brilliant save that we can only see going out thank you match engine director they've had two clear cut chances Zvols has done really well he he's starting to want a new contract and kind of like hold on like let's let's see if we stay up <laughs> chill out a little bit the booty picks up a yellow great fantastic so this is probably the higher amount of possession we've, we've got four shots Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. things are things are looking up in comparison to some of our recent games again we've created some chances now we've not done that i don't think yet today um oh, oh we killed the highlight by demanding more i don't know if that's a good thing or not i like that we have we have battled bravely against a 4-3-3 is that encouraging ish um do we bring at some point, do we take Rossi off because he's on a 6.4 and bring on Tyrese in the attacking mid to kind of, if they've got their 3-3 three and three forward, can we ping it to somebody in the middle? Maybe. Maybe. Um, I'm going to be positive. Ish. Please don't get set off. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Uh, that was Arsenal-esque with uh, that one time. That was terrible. What is he doing? He's got, he's got, he, uh, he hit Labuti. Yeah, I mean, we. I know we have short passing and play out of defense. I, fair. Fair. But you had options that don't include crossing it across the six-yard box to your other center back. Oh, boy. Here it comes. The floodgates. I mean... Ooh. Hey, it's not just your strikers or wingers that can't finish close in one-on-ones. Okay, it's lots of just cutting straight to their five clear-cut chances. That's good. That's good, lads. No problem. We're on top of it. Away! Oh, if we can't even... Oh, create chances against 14th. Rossi's fired up. Well, that's great. Cause and now he's anxious. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna we're gonna get. We we have to score, right? Um. Hold on a second. Okay, that was adorable. My uh my daughter had been playing football with my son, 
and scored two goals and is using a Pez dispenser as a trophy and wanted to wanted me to pick her up like she'd won the Premier League or something. Um, that's amazing. Um, <laughs> so we're going to try and take the pass out of defense off and see if we can ping it up to somebody here. It's going to open us up, but what we're doing is not working, and we conceded a goal because we tried to play out of the back. So that's, you know, is what it is. And Tyrese has done all right. Again, I'm hoping we can get him right about here. They get four, we get right about here. We've created two half chances, you know, progress. Mm, okay, we, we cut the... I like that we cut the angle off. That was good. Force it back. Brodich, what you got, son? Plays it back to Cardi. Pings it forward. Oh, it's, oh, no, the miscommunication. I guess they were both offside, maybe. Oh, that, that was... That had a chance, and now they're going to ping it right down the middle. Oh, no, we went it back. All right. Uh, and our disappointing left wing back continues his disappointment. Okay. Oh, we almost cut that one off, too. It's 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 like the season of almost. The season of almost doing something. Oh, right down the middle. Oh, whoa. That was a six clear cut chance, my friends. Yep. Oh, oh. Wow, here comes an equalizer. Here it comes. Cassidy. Dribble, dribble, 17 dribbling. He can dribble around everybody. He just can't shoot. Oh, good job. Tyrese plays it back to Cardi. He's got Labuti. He's got... Mate, mate, Labut. Okay. Brodich is... Labuti is just like hanging out. Like, hello, I'm still on side. Have been for days. Oh, Tyrese can't finish. He had the keeper fooled. We block it. Labuti brings it back. He's going to get to a Cardi. A Cardi's going to turn. Play it right back. Labuti's... Oh, we're going to lose possession, aren't we? Oh, the, the move is broken down. Roberts is just going to ping it. Nope. Okay, creating some space. That was kind of like a big triangle. Roberts is going to play all the way back to the keeper. Nope. What is the... Brodich tings it, pings it down. Tyrese! Oh, mate, not even close. That's a fourth half chance. <laughs> but we've created some half chances. You're saying there's a half chance. Okay. Uh, oh, good tackle, Cardi. Okay, Haas plays it forward. Tyrese with all his pace. Tyrese! Yes! Pings it off the under part of the bar. Let's hold on. Do we mean to make a sub? Dosenia is really just not loving life, to be completely honest with you. We're going to bring on Moretti. Get him some game time. It, it would be, what is it, a sixth point? <laughs> that was good, though. We've been slightly more dangerous. Akari has a wonderful tackle. Haas just down the middle. Because they're look at their wingbacks. Goodness. Or maybe it wasn't the other side bar. It kind of looked like the end of the side of the bar, didn't it? Immediately demand more. Yes. Come on, lads. Oh. Oh. Oh, two quick chances. We didn't even get to see him. He did so well to the finish, is what it said. Ryan Cassidy. Thank thanks, mate. Thanks. Eleven finishing. Camera angle. Okay, plays it back out. Haas is going to collect that. Don't lose possession while we're all out of sorts. I mean, that's fine. That was better than losing possession, I think you could argue. Um, last part of the game. You're on a yellow and tired. Oh, it's our last sub. Oh, who's our impact sub? I was thinking like Adam Ida, but it's Cassidy's actually doing okay. He's nervous, but I don't like Yob. We're going to bring someone out. It's going to be Flacovio. Might as well. Might as well, son. Oh, boy. It was all hope and dreams until it wasn't. Okay. All right, Tyrese. Brodich, one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, they got somebody coming back. Fred Brodich. Fred Brodich. Oh, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Again, a third clear-cut chance. A third clear-cut chance. We have one goal. They, to be fair, they have six clear-cut chances and one goal, so I guess we shouldn't complain too much about the ratio. Haas, Haas, Haas. Oh, nobody there, but can we get the... No, we can't get the second ball. I think that's, I I mean, would have taken it after we go down a goal in the, uh, the 47th minute. Tyrese, the man and the player of the match. Player of the match comes on as a, what, second half sub? What time did he come on? 60th minute. That's impressive. You've done well to avoid defeat. I, th I think we could, t we could take something from that. We we're now unbeaten in three in the league. Okay. 
Vianney, doing well, has three goals for FC Messina. 8.3, 90 minutes, improving. I think he's going to be good. Um, I'm, we're going to take every chance we can to praise. Yes, 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 good job. 10 without winning. That's every game this season. But, my friend, I mean, that's harsh, right? Like, we have more draws than losses, okay? And we're even on points with everybody else. Torino has a game in hand. But we're even on points, and a win propels us. We just have to beat Inter... Let me know if you think we're going to beat Inter Milan, and I'm going to go play. This is not good. He's uh, he's the only player on our team with perfect dynamics and is starting to consider whether he should be looking to move to a bigger club. No, 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 no. No, Fran, Fran, don't do that to me, baby. Don't do that to me, baby. I know your contract oh, it doesn't have a release. Oh, you're sticking with us. I just want to, anytime we have positive news, I'm going to try and show you. Tom Tradle continues to impress. Look at this. Mm, he's going to be, I, come on, Tom. You still got four-star potential. And that's at this level compared to our current squad. So that's positive. You're, I don't know what, you're, it's interesting. Oh, this is good. We're going to get bought out. Yay. Our goalkeeper has got a bruised thigh, but he's going to play through it. Fran Bradish has got a tight calf. It says he could go, but we're not going it, to, it's not worth risk. I mean, Inter is in sixth. And they're trying to jump up to third today. Um, I'm assuming other results go their way. We have gone defensive. We're away from home. They're, they're in strong form. I think this is going to be a smashing. But there's always hope. Rossi has to slide over to the box-to-box -box midfielder. Actually, there we go. That's better. Now, we've not been practicing that way. Um, Accardi has a little better physicality to continue running up and down the pitch. Rossi does not, but Rossi can tackle actually better than Accardi. So we'll play him on the on the central midfield or on defend. Romano comes in because Haas is he saved us 4.8k by getting suspended. Um Tyrese is, has earned his first start of the season in the pressing forward role. We're going to slide him over there. Cassie stays up top. Everything else is the same. Defensive, uh, let's see if Pat playing out of the back works. We, we've also been working on set pieces in training, so I've got play for set pieces on to see if we can we can win a set piece and try and nick a goal that way at Inter, right? Like, I mean, there's a... There, we're, there, uh, Barbosa, Esposito, Barella, Sensi, Emers, um, Bastoni. Those are the ones that I recognize, but I'm sure you recognize more than I do. Um... Let's go cause an upset. I mean, what else can you say? You know, like, uh, let's get to the ones that are already motivated. Labuti's motivated. Vipes and Accardi. Oh, here we go, lads. Come on. Yeah, I'm happy. It's the first time he's played there. I mean, not really, but um, we've looked good in training. They've got good players because they're Inter Milan. Friends. <laughs> I was going to say early yellow for them, but early yellow for us. Labuti getting 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 stuck in even though we don't have get stuck in on. Huh? I also did drop us to a narrow, being more narrow defensively, thinking maybe that if they're pinging stuff in to their two strikers that were slightly more compact and harder to break down. But maybe not. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, oh that was, I mean, how do you compete with that? Don't worry, we're compact, lads. Not even a half chance, which we've created. Max Ahrens. I mean, we'll watch this one again, even though I don't really want to, because they're smashing us 16, 17 minutes in. I mean, what are you supposed to do with that? What are you supposed to do with that? That's ridiculous. That was ridiculous. <laughs> oh, lads. Let's try encouraging. Yay, we fired up some of them. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Cassidy. Okay, cuts it back. Get it to... Oh, he's going to play it back to him? Yes, he is. Cassidy's going to try and dribble because that's what we've got his instructions to go for a quarter. Oh, he keeps it in. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Get back. Get back. How about the... Where, why, why are our strikers just, like, hanging out? They're just, like, hanging out with the inter defenders. Like, hey, maybe the ball eventually might someday come up here instead of getting back to help out defensively. Okay. 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 Hmm... That was too e we're, we're compact, and that's what happens. That was too easy. Like, you just, ah, that guy looks open, because we're not marking very well. Cautious. Let's try that. Let's, let's try that. 
You know what? You know what? I, I don't think this is working. We'll leave the set pieces on. I mean, we had one shot. It was on target, but they've had four shots and a half chance. And to be fair, their first goal was a like goal of the season esque. Off the bar. Okay, Cassidy just clears it. I don't mind that. Just get rid. Just get rid. I think we're going to yell at him. Uh, no, we're not going to remind the pressures off. I'm going to say, uh, you were awful. I think that's fair. Like You can be up against a big team and a good team and still be awful. So, let's go, lads. L l let's go, lads. We need two goals. You know, like, what else are you going to do? Um, it's been pretty poor. Whoa, the massive chance goes missing, apparently. Like, you gotta love that the game shows you, like, ah! that's all you get to see. You know, just a little bit of a, a hint that something horrific could have happened. Um, yeah, Cassidy. Yeah, Adam Ida needs more games anyway, so come on down, son. You're playing terrible. Oh, you're on a yellow. You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go to it. We're gonna go to it. We're gonna slide him back here. Um, of our midfield, Rossi is playing the worst. Um, so we're, we're going to bring on. Hmm. The situation. Can Romano? Nope. Uh, Rossi can play up there. That's the dream. Do we do this? I don't know if I like that. Well, I, well I, yeah, because I'm trying to keep Brodich from, like, getting severely injured. You know what I'm saying? So, change the shape. Keep the, say, players on the pitch except this guy. We might as well give Yab a run out, I guess. I mean, it, 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 I don't think we're going to score, but you've got what it takes. You know a target, man. Yeah. Yeah, come on in. Ping it up to the tall guy. <laughs> oh. I mean, it's about how I expected this episode to go, to be honest with you. Oh, not a penalty. Away! Uh, not really away enough. Oh, the cutback is there. I'm surprised none of those went in. Oh, Labuti, come on! The counterattack! A glimmer of hope! Rossi hasn't been subbed off yet! His last action of the game! And he's Gives up. I gets a free kick. I guess. Not a, not a not a red card. Nah. Nah. No highlights. We did look better in the second half. I don't think we won the second half, but we looked better. So that's just one of those days, boys. Just one. That's that's kind of how I thought that was gonna go, right? Like probably how you thought it was gonna go too. I'm sure you've left you left comments. I'm sure you did, because I mentioned it. You were like, I'm gonna pause this video and say you're gonna get smashed. Whoop. Um, right, lads. Right. So, my friends, heading into the odd winter break. Is is that's what we're doing, right? Yes. The strangest winter break yet. Um We find ourselves at the bottom of the table. Now, if Torino loses. And they've got a worse goal differential. They'd be below us, right? Or they've got two wins. I don't know. It probably, it, it, why, it, why am I? Why do I care about that? Why do I care about that? We have eleven games in. We get six points. Um. So if we multiply that by three, that'd be mm, not. We're not even. We're nowhere close. But again, again. Okay. Oh, ooh, stop scrolling. See, like we're we're not the worst. We're not losing. We're just not winning. So. We've got work to do. I don't really think we need to spend any money in the transfer window. Like, I I, I, I don't think there's anything that's really going to rescue us. Like, you know, a stud DM, which we don't have, or wingers or something like that. I'm not going to – I don't want to just drastically change everything and then get relegated and go like, well, you know, the 5-3-2 worked in Syria Bay. You know what I'm saying? So, I think it's just can we find a way to make our current squad work save up some money right again we're currently at 6.6 .6 million 
Um, that number is going to continue to go up, right? TV revenue, 3 million this month alone. Um, keep plugging away and seeing what we, let's look, how, how do we kick off? 19th place, 10th place. Didn't they just get promoted with us? Yes, they're doing quite well. Um, and then 12th, 15th, 7th, 17th. We have to have a good New Year's Eve and January to have any hope. Because after that, Roma, Sampdoria, Milan, Juventus, Cagliari. I mean, this is a much more difficult run. So, like, we have to figure out a way to build up some momentum here. I don't know how we're going to do it. We're going to try and hold on to our players during the win the, the, the January window. We'll see you then. Thumbs up for belief. Come on, lads.